मैं की करा वेल यू नो इंडिया में और लेट मी जस्ट से इंडिया एज अ कंट्री स्टैंड्स थर्ड amongst the top 20 countries with cyber crime victims of course we have a massive population and we made a huge leap in the digital space as well but i thought let's talk about escaping and dodging being a cyber crime victim how about that this <laughs> Good morning, I'm Disha Oberoi. Super hits ninety three point five Red FM. This show's ka name is Morning Number One. We're going to be talking about UPI codes to uh, calls that you get from banks, from telecom operators, including watching porn. All this and more is going to be covered. A very exciting one hour lies ahead. Disha! In conversation with the Chief Technical Officer of IEM Labs, Mr. Ritik Lal, connecting all the way with us from Calcutta. How are you, sir? I am fine. How are you? Very good, and uh, the tech capital of India, Bangalore City, the Silicon Valley, is very excited to discuss this topic, which is about cyber crime. And uh, to hear from a CTO adds a lot of value. Let's start by asking you, sir, where do you see India yeah. in terms of the digital space today in the world? Ah. Uh. so if i talk about digital space in india within the last two years that is starting from 2020 when the new normal situation came in india has taken a big jump in uh, digital world yes. because the companies who were strictly using pen and paper for their work they have also shifted to cloud and yes. the companies who does not work in cyber security at all they also started hiring cyber security people and if i see the cyber crime records as per nic cyber crimes have risen up to 5x times Mr Lal I think it's directly proportionate to the usage the more the usage is going up the crime on the cyber space has also gone up right <laughs> Mr Lal I know you very simply broken down the top three things that a layman should be aware of on a daily basis to avoid being trapped by cyber crime or cyber fraud. We'll come to that in just a bit. Given that India's digital growth, especially in the last couple of years, has been phenomenal, at forty-eight billion, India accounts for the largest number of worldwide real-time transactions last year. Almost three times that of China and six and a half times that of US, Canada, UK, and France and Germany combined. Not just that, we are the second largest smartphone market in the world after China, which is why this information is critical. Stay tuned. If you have particular questions about cyber crime, the CTO, Mr. Lal, will be happy to answer it. My WhatsApp number is nine eight eight zero nine three five nine three five. You can type out a message or send me a voice note. Nine double eight zero nine three five nine three five. Bajate raho. This entire digital world and digital burst and surge in India is like a nasha. Ninety three point five Red FM per Andisha Oberoi. This show is called Morning Number One, and a very interesting conversation is underway. We're discussing uh, UPI codes, telecom operator calls, bank calls, even watching porn. Questions are most welcome. Nine eight eight zero nine three five nine three five is my number. Given that India has reported more cyber crimes in just two months of twenty twenty two than the entire year of two thousand eighteen. Of course pre covid post covid life has been very different let's get back to that conversation with our expert this morning mr rithik lal connecting all the way from calcutta the chief technical officer of iem labs okay so i will tell you two to three things so today in every local shop or in every place we get qr codes to scan yes right now coming to the risk that we face in qr code Many of these QR codes are forged. Okay, so what happens is two to three QR codes are merged into a single QR. So whenever you will scan that QR from your UPI app, the payment will happen. In the back end, what will happen? Someone sitting behind that QR will get access with your device which you have scanned. So this is the first thing that we face in QR. Second problem is our phone number. What happens is nowadays a new fraud is coming to the market. Uh, recently, I have found it out through Calcutta Police. Virtual or IVR numbers are calling customers and telling that I am from service center of X Y Z operator. So, are you having a tower problem? 
and nowadays as this is a rainy season uh, we faced our problem very frequently sure. so the particular person is telling yes so then they are telling i am giving you a special number the special number is star 148 star then a code and then hash when the person is dialing that number that person's phone number is getting call forwarded to the hacker's number now what the hacker is doing he is bringing in otps the otp is coming to the hacker's phone he is typing the otp by in the transaction phase and continuously money is getting debited from the mm. actual user's account so that is a second problem one you said qr code which i will come to a little later because that can induce a lot of panic in bangalore whether we are buying nariyal pani or we are buying something worth 2 rupees we all use qr codes now the second right. thing that you've spoken about is people claiming there's a tower issue giving you a number asking you to dial it should be absolutely avoided what's the third absolutely. thing mr lal that third thing is that fake calls see these kind of exploiters they use the opportunity as all people are busy nowadays we are super busy nowadays we don't have two minutes time for properly eating so these people are exploiting this situation and what they are doing suppose i am in a very important thing in my office the person will call me that i am from xyz bank your account will get locked so you need to complete a kyc okay so Now, this is, is sorry mr lal this is a classic case yeah. of phishing right yeah this is a classic case of phishing but this is a manual phishing <laughs> Mr Lal the CTO chief technical officer of IEM Labs connecting with us all the way from Calcutta you very interestingly broken down three of the common issues or situations in which an aam aadmi can become a cyber crime or cyber fraud ka victim i'm quite certain you haven't come to this show without solutions for all three so we'll touch upon that on the other side of our music stay tuned if you have any questions send that over ya aapke sath inme se koi cheez agar hui hai बताइए उसके बारे में यू कैन सेंड आउट अ वॉइस नोट और जस्ट टाइप इट आउट द नंबर इज नाइन डबल एट जीरो नाइन थ्री फाइव नाइन थ्री फाइव आई रिपीट दैट नाइन एट एट जीरो नाइन थ्री फाइव नाइन थ्री फाइव बच जाते रहो यू कैन टॉक अबाउट साइबर क्राइम एंड नॉट टच अपॉन पोनोग्राफी इन इंडिया व्यूइंग पॉन प्राइवेटली इज नॉट इलीगल ऑफकोर्स सेलिंग डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग पॉन इज इलीगल लेकिन अगर आप घर में बैठ के अपने आप देखना चाहो कोई दिक्कत नहीं है गुड मॉर्निंग अमदिशा ओबेरॉय 93.5 पॉइंट फाइव रेर एफ एम पर इस शो का नाम है मॉर्निंग नंबर वन लेट्स गेट बैक टू आर एक्सपर्ट फ्रॉम कैलकटा I must tell you Mr Lal uh, we were having a laugh between our friends from school and one of them put it on our WhatsApp group that I was on a website looking for porn and my computer started making a noise and it said it's from the government of India with a fake emblem and it said transfer 33000 rupees right now to this account and there was a loud sound coming out of the laptop you know be 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 he freaked out because the sound the visual everything together i think overwhelmed him but uh, a friend of him sitting with him said yaar ye nahi ho sakta ye mere ko fraud lag raha hai he was worried ki agar maine paise nahi diye police aa jayegi because it was written on that screen police will come and this and that so i think even <laughs> with vulnerable boys and girls who are sitting and watching porn uh, the cyber crime fraud guys try to use that opportunity multiple times absolutely see if i talk about porn we have paid websites we have free websites yes. for any kind of service so nowadays no one is so noble that they will give some service for free so the the general psychology is they are collecting some data out of it so this particular data is they are monitoring very strictly that whoever has the maximum intent to come to this kind of site and how they can exploit them so maybe that person has tried to get a paid service for free over porn so once something is installed in your system your complete system access is with the hacker so the only solution to that is just turn off the computer and take out the plug and go to the police station and report yourself that this 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 happened what can i do so don't get frightened about your reputation your safety is first required than your reputation very good point uh, mr lal and there was another incident i read about where somebody's camera on the laptop went on when they were watching a porn website it recorded the person and later that video was sent to them on email because they managed to hack their uh, laptop and accounts have you heard of any such cases yeah i have heard of such cases in west bengal only <laughs> so just what they need to do is they need to take a double sided tape and paste it on the front camera 
इसीलिए हम लोग क्या करते हैं वेन वी सीट फॉर सम इम्पोर्टेंट हैकिंग और सम इम्पोर्टेंट प्रोजेक्ट तो हम लोग क्या करते हैं अपना जो माइक्रोफोन होता है उसको आटा लगा के जाम कर देते हैं और हमारा जो कैमरा होता है उसके ऊपर डबल साइडेड टेस्ट मार देते हैं माइक्रोफोन पे क्या करते हैं आप एक बार फिर से बताना मिस्टर लाल आटा लगा के जाम कर देते हैं और वैक्यूम क्रिएट करने के लिए आपने माइक पे आटा गूंदा हुआ आटा छोटा सा पीस लगा दिया राइट राइट For any of our listeners just tuning in, this is ethical hacking that Mr. Ritik Lal is talking about. He is the chief technical officer of the IEM Labs in Calcutta. It's been such a pleasure speaking with you, Mr. Lal, and uh, so relevant for our country for the time that we live in, and more so for our Bangaloreans here, who are very proud tech savvy people. Thank you so much, Mr. Lal, for your time. Thank you, thank you, thanks a lot. I had no.